How distribution centers operate. A distribution center is a building or multiple buildings that are primarily used as storage. They store goods for retailers or online platforms until they are ordered to be distributed to businesses or directly to customers. These centers can be shared by multiple businesses or owned by larger companies. There are three main areas within a distribution center, including the shipping dock, receiving dock, and storage area. These three areas can be broken into smaller sections. For example, the storage area can be divided into different sections, such as including food, perishable and non-perishable. In this instance, they may be refrigerated or air conditioned areas to ensure the food stays fresh. If there are multiple distributors in the building, it would be advisable that each distributor have their own designated area to eliminate mixing stored goods. Although distribution centers tend to do the same thing, there are some differences. The three main types of distribution centers are called package handling centers, warehouse and fulfillment centers. The package handler centers tend to receive goods and then forward them directly to whoever they are going to. A fulfillment center normally stores and then sends goods to the customer. Fulfillment centers typically ships purchases from catalogs or online stores. A warehouse typically stores products that will someday arrive on the shelves in a shop. The distribution center finds its profit in efficiency through ensuring overhead costs are kept low, labor costs can be kept to a minimum, and a regular turnover of stock is upheld. This ensures that customers build confidence in their system, which is indicative of confidence and delivering goods in good condition and on time. For assistance or consultation, contact me at 407-834-7714 or email me at allen at consensusrealtysolutions.com.